Woe be unto him who opens one of the seven gateways to hell, because through that gateway, evil will invade the world. All right, we're here to talk about My Bloody Valentine. Right now, we have some of the 22 Shots people in here. Only one official host, JP, down there. Uh, what's up, JP? Ew, bro. You? <laughs> then we have Carly, who's on uh, Slumber Party Massacre podcast. Slumber yeah. Party, what, is, that, is, that it? is that right, or did I mix that up? Yeah, that's right. 
All right. And she's also on uh, 22 Shots a lot. And then we have Tyler down there, who is basically like a permanent guest spot in 22 Shots at this point. So we're here to talk about My Bloody Valentine. Uh, I know all you guys turning out to hear Moods on here. Uh, You're probably disappointed he's not here. I tried to get him, but he didn't. (laughs) He's too busy. Did you try? I asked him he a did try. times. He was like, <laughs> yeah, he, tried. he was like, I got, I got hockey. I was like, just of get course. rid of that kid. That's the most Canadian thing ever. That, that, kid's yeah. the, that kid ruined the podcast. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> he just said something about the Bruins, so, so he's probably watching hockey on his phone. Like, he's not on his kid. <laughs> he just like puts his phone down to argue with the ref. He's like, that was perfectly fine. <laughs> Dude, some of the stuff they call now, like watching these NHL show games, like what did he do? He bumped into him. Wrong, wrong, wrong podcast time. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> these guys fine. aren't gonna know. Th- oh, there's no Canadian. I, I here. think I think anybody that's watching this probably knows the people that are on the show. It's probably gonna be a little bit more freestyle than your typical 1981 shows. But we're here to discuss probably one of the all-time most popular slashers ever, um, in my bloody Valentine, a Canadian classic. Uh, directed by, I always mispronounce this guy's last name, George. Uh, somebody's got to know it. You guys don't, don't know, know George? I don't know, know who it is at all. He didn't, like he George, made, like, he didn't really make a bunch of movies, right? He only made like a couple. He made a bunch of movies, but not so many horror movies. He went on to oh, make okay. uh, Relative Fear from 1991, which Carly liked, which was a killer kid movie. Oh, yeah. That was, and he, I forgot about that. Yeah. And he also made External Evil from 1985, which is a pretty crummy movie. But uh, the director seems to know what he's doing, especially by the commentaries and everything like that. Seems like an intelligent guy. He was only 28 years old when he directed My Bloody Valentine. Oh, Obviously wow. That's really cool. The Slasher Heyday. It's a holiday horror movie. It's got a great small town regional feel. Um, yeah. And uh, it kind of was released cut to shit. Didn't get much respect. Was later released on cut and found a huge fan base. So, yeah, uh, My Bloody Valentine. Uh, I'm a fan of it. I don't, I think I'm probably the least fan of it here, though, to be honest. I've probably seen it least than everybody. I've seen it a handful of times. So I've always enjoyed it, but I don't think I'm the super fan that you guys probably are. So, let's talk My Bloody Valentine. I wouldn't say I'm a super fan of it, but I, I'm just not really like a super fan of Slashers in general. But this one kind of does stand out as, uh, yeah. What, more on the upper end of things, I would say. It's just entertaining, too. And they take the time with the characters, and it has a little, like, silliness in the character stuff. Yeah, like, well, what's kind of cool about just, like, watching Slashers, I'm starting to just notice now, it's, like, it's not that, like, I'm not, like, saying this, like, in a way I'm knocking it all, but they're really kind of, like, adult Scooby-Doo movies. Because there's, like, a guy in a suit, but he's, like, actually killing people. And at the end, it's like, who's in the, the mask? I that mean, one is, too. Yeah. Go ahead, Chippy. Oh yeah, uh, my bloody Valentine, bro. Like it, it is, it, and and that is maybe that is why I like slashers. I grew up with Scooby Doo, and they are essentially like a whodunit, you know. And uh, my bloody Valentine is like a super special one because, uh, first of all, the that town feel, like the regional uh, working class town feel, they capture it literally perfectly. Like it, it might be the the like most accurate i've seen to like a mining community or or something like like you know construction workers or you know any any type of blue collar job like that it, they really kill it with that um you mentioned the that it was cut to shit and it truly is one of the cool things about most of the releases some people might not think it's cool but the quality actually dips whenever you see the cut footage mm-hmm. I actually kind of like that because it, it it lets you know like what was cut and literally what was in this what was in this nothing. movie before like literally nothing. I, me and Carly yeah. saw it at a, at a uh, theater one time and they showed the theatrical cut and I was like, dude, there is literally nothing in this movie. There's literally no kills when, when you watch the the cut version and I believe the uncut version wasn't even actually available until like 2009 when uh, Lionsgate put out the the uncut version which is crazy that this movie was like loved for so long without that version well it's kind of feel like characters yeah I think it's the familiar I feel like anything that has like the familiarity of like a gimmick like that people just gravitate to yeah, and uh, Carly, I know that you're a big fan of this, and I know that we were we were watching it. Like, it was a lot of the dialogue and the characters that kind of just make you remember it, not just the kills. Yeah, I feel yeah. like they're the closest to like Friday the Thirteenth type 
type characters. Like I watch other standalone slasher movies and a lot of the flaws are the characters don't really stand yeah. out or they're just like stupid and they didn't put any effort into them. And this one, like they feel, it just feels very Friday the 13th to me. And um, yeah, it's got that small town setting, like JP said, and that's always been one of my favorite things. And yeah, the first time I saw that uncut thing, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Like when she's like in the washing machine, I was like, whoa. Yeah, like, I've, I've never caught seen, me off guard. I was like, I was scared. I was like, wow, that's like actually scary. And J, I think JP and I had watched it for the first time to get, or it was my first time. And he was like, you never seen this version before. And I was like, no. So yeah, it's actually really good. And, and the cool thing about the, like the kills in the, in the gore is even the off screen kills have great aftermath like finding body moments you know what i mean yeah. so like even when you're disappointed that you got an off-screen kill you see the the remnants of the body later like the dryer scene that you mentioned oh um, yeah, if, if you that's nasty too it is nasty too and and that lady is it, she's such like a sweet lady like she yeah, does nothing wrong sad. she just wants to re, she wants to really recreate like the fun she had like 20 years ago before the tragedy and she's like oh i'll just do this and then at the very end when the, the <laughs> cherry on top is when the sheriff looks at the box of chocolates he actually got and it's from Mabel and he's just like, hmm, Mabel. But he gets all depressed <laughs> for a second. But uh, nobody tell anybody, Mabel had a heart attack if anybody asks. They do the whole thing. Like, and they take her out the back so nobody sees it. They do the sleepaway camp. Like, yeah, this movie reminds me of sleepaway camp sometimes with like the, the older, older guys. Yeah, yeah they're just yeah. like, yeah, can he's like, that. it can't be happening again. Like, it's just very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> the they play it so a lot stupid. more cool in this movie, though. That's yeah, that's yeah. Like, it's not like as dude, far as just like they're overall, Canadians. They're not yeah, from New Jersey. From like, Jersey, overall then, like, of a what cast, the fuck? just just like be like overall, just like a cast, just like kind of like, actually like doing the best job and being the best characters. Like this might be the best slasher, well, like for that specifically. I think that what the, the shining actor in here is Keith Knight, and uh, he always is. He's a uh, Hollish, and Hollish is uh, he, you'll notice is he the chubbier dude. Yeah, yeah, he's oh, also yeah. in class in He's the best character. I love he's, He plays oh, Bargar. He he's the big bald guy who goes after him at the very end when he finds the little dude dead. And he's like, Norris. And he goes at him and he puts the, he takes the chops to the uh, the lead pipe to the forearms. Yeah. The whole scene is amazing. That guy's just a tank. He's also He feels like a real stuff. friend, bro. Yeah, yeah he's, he's great at that. Looks like it. Yeah. yeah. Completely different character in class in 1984. He also pops up in, um, of unknown origin i think i think he's the one who sells oh, him the that. shit the the rat poison he's also in meatballs uh he, uh with brute bill murray he was a, just a canadian actor he's in uh siege do you know the movie that severin put out uh siege where no, it's like that. the neo-nazis trying to kill the people in the apartment complex that's a really good film he plays like good. a he plays <laughs> yeah. like a he plays a poor blind guy. I, I somehow never noticed him in class of 1984. Oh, he's I amazing. Like that movie. He, he looks completely different in this movie than he does in anything else. Yeah. He's shaved. He's usually buzz cut. He's like shaved like That's a curly guy. No, yeah, I he, always remember him because of his goofy mustache. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's the best. he's just a character actor that stands out because he's just so memorable. I mean, he's since passed away, but he, he's by far. Um, I, I will say about My Bloody Valentine that it goes above and beyond a lot of the slasher movies. And I, I think The Burning has this, too. I think you remember the characters. I think you remember some of the lines. Yeah. It's probably a lot of the actors went on to do other things. But uh, a lot of the lines here are just so funny. It's like, it's going to be a hot Saturday night. All the shit they're saying in the thing. Like, it, it's just memorable. It's silly. And, like, uh, there's times when you're just, like, like shake your head. You can actually picture people saying this shit, too. But it's also just, like, lame mediocrity in life when he's, like, the only thing I like better than Christmas candy is Valentine's Day candy. And you're like, shut up. Just fucking open the box, old man. Just open the fucking box. But at the same time, it just sets it up. It's just a fucking heart in it. Oh, everyone like reads the notes and then like they, like, <laughs> they, they pause at the end. And like, <gasps> right, yeah. Like, the like, was like, <gasps> and then they read it out loud like they would. Yeah. Who reads the notes out I was, loud? I was laughing at that with the uh, with the old lady. She like gets to the end, and, like just reads it out loud. I was like, Does this guy just like plan. She's gonna find this. Open He's just waiting to read it out. Waiting He's just yeah. read the line. He's just waiting for it, like. Oh, oh. <laughs> I need That's maximum terror. I need maximum terror on this old lady. <laughs> Um, and also the weird guy, the bartender's fucking hilarious. Like he's, he's just basically doing pros behind the bartender. Like, oh, you'll be sorry. 
<laughs> it's the way they like shoot him too. It's like just a close up of him. It feels like he's. It feels like it feels like no one's listening to him. Like no one ever listens to that guy. He's just standing there. Like no one asked you, dude. He's just like oh. he's, just, he's the town drunk. But he's yeah. got no. He's the bartender. But he's the bartender. He's, bar he's got the they worst. They can be one in the same. Yeah. He's he's the one True. who found the fucking guy. He's the one who found the. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeez, what the fuck is his name? Harry Warden. Harry Warden. Yeah. He's the one who Everyone's pulled him out joking. Of there. That's why he's the town drunk. He's like he's never been able to recover from. <laughs> he looks like a drunk too. He looks like he's like he's like a hundred pounds soaking. The wet. character's he's... like always the town. Like like in the original Halloween, like I always like like to imagine the graveyard guy was the down drunk was the town drunk. Like, oh, yeah, there's dead. gotta be one. <laughs> they just hired a real drunk to play it, and then him and Donald Pleasance got shit faced behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> you know they did yeah uh no i mean the kills too are really great in this like amazing oh there's so uh, many good ones man it starts off real fast too and like i personally love that the movie is just so valentine's day it's like yeah you gotta make oh, a town the town's night. called valentine's Bluff. it feels it's like so you know they're celebrating valentine's, valentine's day there. hard <laughs> they based their whole economy on a valentine's day dance <laughs> Like, yeah. like, it feels like prom, but it's like these are like grown adults, like just yeah, grown yeah. and they're devastated. Like, 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 we'll just have yeah. a party at the office. Yeah. We'll just have a party in the mice. Like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, the internet ruined everything for every small town. People can't just be content fucking dying of black yeah. lung and all drinking beer. Everything is everything <laughs> right. is Fargo now. <laughs> You're gonna see these people getting online like Oh, so that stuff causes. Oh, oh, gee, I can't work that <laughs> no more. Honey, can I get a beer? Or out of beer? You don't work no more. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just want this movie can't be made updated into this day and age. It would just be like the remake was dark and gloomy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. The remake. Movies. Everybody looked like a Hollister model. I, I tried to watch it. I tried watching it last night, the remake, and I was like, I just it felt it's very too clean. It's so 2009. Like, like I just I, couldn't do it. I say they both like everyone looked like a Hollister model, but then you had this yeah. one, the guy in this movie wearing a neckerchief the whole movie. Everyone, yeah, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's got like a pot belly. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. his average shape. He's just like, like he kind of they're he basic kinda, looking yeah, guys. But like in like a couple times, he has to just like man up and he just like kick someone's ass or something. So you can only give him so much shit, but I was like thinking watching this, like it really is a Scooby Doo movie. He's got the freaking guy with the <laughs> chief right there. That's don't actually you, funny. Don't yeah. you love that Axel literally jumps in the fucking water to act like his own death, but then like, bro, you <laughs> yeah. would have got you would have died of hypothermia. I thought I don't know. Like, I was think like I think he just I like think I guess like it was I thought it was supposed to be like he just like I'm gonna break it and throw my helmet down there so they hear it and then I'm gonna run the other way oh, and they're gonna get I didn't tripped. know maybe he did. That's what I thought. You know, do you know that in the script he didn't even know he was the killer. They kept it pretty much How do they so, like, like so how, they had him act? Go, yeah like no, they didn't let him know. So people just acted so like So he just that. acted like What do they tell him about killer? the ending? They didn't yeah. tell him the ending. They didn't know if the killer was the one of the boyfriends or Harry Warden or who. I mean, it That's makes what... like he does. He's like very natural the whole movie. Yeah, he like, like him at all. He, it's not like he's mustache twirling like yeah. sinister. Like yeah, hints. I always think it's the other guy that comes back to town. Well, now yeah. I know. But like yeah. growing I up, I was like, it's gonna be that guy, and then it's I'm pretty not sure they switch him in the remake. They yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, which is uh, which was I actually think it's cool, but. Yeah. The, I thought it was Harry Warden, <laughs> like when I was watching. Well, yeah, when I, yeah, 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 bro, yeah. That's an underrated aspect of this movie. It's actually structurally like pretty sound, and when you've seen it a bunch of times, you don't really like think about like the act because you know what's going on. But yeah, yeah. It, the first time you watch it, it, it's actually well worked. The the reveal and who the killer is, and yeah. and like how they do the Harry Warden thing where they're trying to contact. You know, it feels like the Michael hospital. Myers at first, yeah. right? Like, like yeah. he escaped the mental <laughs> hospital. And... Yeah, you definitely don't think it's gonna be the guy it is. Yeah. Well, they they have the reveal really well, and and they play it why the killer is the killer. It's still yeah. basically the same thing that caused all this. This one tragedy that just breeds tragedy over tragedy and cursed the town, yeah. because yeah. Harry Warden came back and killed his father, and he saw it, which is like, oh shit, that's a nice little touch because they show that earlier, and you're like, why are they showing this? This also like reminds me of the Prowler. Same year, the flashback, all the the cursed town, and all that shit. 
You yes. know what I mean? Like they're not too dissimilar. We're like, mm -hmm. it's just that kind of slasher trope where something years ago happened and it's just all brought back up and the shit's going to pick right back up depending if it's the same killer, a new killer, or, you know, whatever. I haven't seen The Prowler in a hot minute. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I remember that Good being kills. one of the better ones. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 81 I think is... this film has like way more awesome like characters and stuff like that than The Prowler. It has yeah, more kills only... too. I remember like two characters from the Prowler Wars. Like even though I've, I've only seen this one probably like four or five times over the last like maybe like twelve years or something, and there was a big gap in the middle. I would and go. I, got, as, I always remember them. I would go as far to say that the the lead female in the Prowler is kind of underrated. I think she's pretty. Decent, I don't. I actually. couldn't even picture her right now. I like I can, her. Yeah. Yeah. I can I remember know, she... John Saxon. That's about it. He's not. She in reminds that. me of knockoff. Jimmy. So I can't. I'm not even picking the right say person. That. She's... Then. She's knockoff Amy Steele. Yeah, but John yeah, Saxon's not There's even a scene that's like... Oh, so who am I thinking of? <laughs> not John Saxon. Is there a John Saxon type actor? That's Farley like... Granger. Must be. He must be just not John Saxon. <laughs> Lawrence Tierney, Farley Granger. Oh, Lawrence Tierney's in that? Lawrence oh, Tierney's in that? In a wheelchair. Oh, a he's the wheelchair guy? That's awesome. Everybody in the movie's a pervert. Wasn't he like... He played like all like the handsome guy roles like in the 40s, right? I... I... I, you know, I didn't watch too many of his 40s movies. I just always saw him as this old, mean, drunk in movies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's funny about him. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was like a Ryan Gosling of the 40s, and then he's like gets roles like this and when he's old and like, like a rest for dogs. Were, were you going to say something, Carly, or was JP saying something over there? I was just saying it was knockoff Jenny and that there's a yeah. scene in The Prowler that's like exactly the same as Friday too. Yeah, but what came that's first? A... Same year. I don't, yeah, I know. I don't know. Yeah. That's in the that's in Bay the of Blood came first. Oh, yeah, but Bay of Blood does, here. doesn't yeah. really have like a uh, characters. like a final <laughs> final. <laughs> that doesn't have like slasher characters. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. it just yeah. has like I just remember Luigi Pastelli like mad at his kids the whole movie. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's mad. Like, oh, he's mad in every he's fucking just, movie. He's just mad. <laughs> he's so mad at it. I've, yeah, I've never seen a movie where he's just not mad the whole movie. Uh, good to bad and ugly. He plays the priest. He yeah, plays he's the priest. brother. He's all right. <laughs> he gets slapped in the face. He's great in uh for a few dollars more. He's the best goon because he's got that little mustache. Yeah. He's my favorite. Five. You ever seen De you ever seen um Death Rides a Horse? Oh, uh, I don't remember. That's a Lee Van Cleef, right? Yeah, he's like the main villain in that, and he's wicked good. <laughs> he's he's a fucking bastard. He's like legit, like the asshole mayor that owns everything. He's a he's a good actor. I've always enjoyed him. Yeah, uh, I like him. So I mean, like as far as like anything else to say about this movie is, I think the kill count is fairly high. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. For the time, honestly, like, I don't know if like I just hadn't seen this like enough times to like really remember it or i was watching like the cut version forever but like a couple things like a couple kills i didn't remember that just kind of like shocked me and they seem like way ahead of like the violence curve of the era oh yeah for sure yeah. like i mean first you got um in the very beginning they kill in the the awesome scene with the uh whole opening kills the yeah. girl in the mine mm -hmm. and then after that you go up to what you have the flashback with the fa four dead miners and then the revenge you get two more and then uh, Harriet, and then yep. uh, the the bartender, and then he starts killing the kids. He kills yep. the hot dog guy. <laughs> <laughs> that part like goes me out too. Like dude, you're just cooking a bunch of hot, and boiling a bunch of hot dogs. But which seems like totally up what would be happening there. Yeah, hot yeah. dog boils at the party, man. <laughs> Fuck hot dogs, bro. I eat no hot dogs. Hot dogs are like one of those food they get so much worse the older you get. Yeah, <laughs> as a kid, you're like one pe one whole package of hot dogs, please. No bun, just chop yeah. it up, process yeah. meat. Yeah, and then oh, as you're older, you're and... like, oh, this is nasty. Do you, do you want a hot dog? You're like, it's free. It's like, <laughs> well, the, the the heart in the hot dog water is like always grosses me out. Bro. Yeah. Hot dog water. Yeah. Who put this in there? <laughs> <laughs> It's all like gray and shit from being boiled. Yeah. yeah. The way the way it's structured is honestly like kind of cool too how they get everyone down in the mine and it like it really does like it they spend a lot of time down there and it really like picks up a lot of intensity once they hit there and it like really makes it so it's like exciting right till the end like there's no like dips there and it ends like, like It's actually kind of scary too like when, yeah, he's break, he, when he's breaking the light bulbs. Yeah, it's so creepy. It's They're just like, like, I think claustrophobic I hear and like old and like there's just like the stakes are like higher down there than like running in the street the pacing yeah. is very good the whole movie yeah. has good pacing it's not really like too much downtime 
yeah, yeah. it's the, it's that's yeah. that's like a way like a lot of these movies for me like really like knows that the pacing's bad and it's pretty good here yeah like i would say again the prowler like there's like 25 minutes of the prowler where you're like so this is what <laughs> we're doing for 20 minutes it's like yep but i mean it's still a good movie but the heyday of slashers is 81 i mean all yeah. all the top ones are from 81 right yeah yeah mm. i i think they cut nine minutes of footage out of the out of the it's a lot this fucker was like 80 minutes yeah yeah it, and dude it might be the most cut movie that we've ever got like the uncut version like the differences i think it might be the most i can't think of anything that's more mm. cut Ooh, stuff like uh possession we just talked about that today with duncan that was cut to shit but was knows? it yeah like this movie oh, like this this one yeah the original oh. version in vhs was cut like I got made it that. here. People are like, this doesn't even make any fucking sense. And that, and that movie, it still like, doesn't make any sense. It already does. <laughs> it makes like... sense enough. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it's enough where I, can, where I can write up a, or I can write a pretentious article and be like, can, I think I'm you so. You can turn smart. in your college <laughs> film paper about it. Yeah. But uh, I'm just saying, like, uh, is, is anybody else want to talk anything else about my bloody bail time? I got one more thing to say that I think is probably the best part of the movie. Actually, what's that? I think I know what part you mean talking about the end music right oh no, yeah that's not the part i meant yeah that's great though but that's the ending the is the, the whole ending is amazing too bro yeah it keeps on like, the, the myth alive yeah and, and and it's crazy that they never got a sequel like yeah it's set up so well for one and i'm and just being the 80s it, I, I guess maybe it might not have been that successful yeah people but, saw it and there's just like no gore they're like that's why we sucks we like the jason guess, one yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What were you going to say? Yeah, the, best, the best part, Carly? When the drunk guy put, or the bartender puts the dude, the fake thing in the... In the <laughs> and he keeps and opening then he, the door. He's, he's like, like so <laughs> impressed with his... Yeah. He's impressed with his... He's uh, like, I gotta you know, see it setup. one more time. <laughs> he's <laughs> like, <"Idiot."> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That guy's so cheap. And they actually replaced him with Tom Atkins in the uh, remake. That was, that was good yeah. casting. You That's, can't yeah, do much better than that. Yeah. yeah, Atkins, though, is like actually like handsome and cool, though. That guy's just like creepy. Yeah. yeah. That, that guy's like, a good drunk too. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, that guy would like give you a ride home if you were a young girl. He wouldn't rape you, but he definitely would like feel your tit <laughs> like, yeah. when you passed out. Yeah. <laughs> he would definitely. Atkins would not. Yikes. Yeah. No, I, I, you Atkins wouldn't would pass out you with home. Atkins yeah. because yeah, you, you would be go. blowing him on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be in the bed with him, like. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you something to wake up. He'd be like, thrill me. <laughs> yeah. Thrill me. You got good news and bad news, girls. <laughs> Tom Atkins is the fucking man, bro. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about Tom Atkins for 45 more minutes. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, the funny thing is, like, it's really hard to talk about this movie in general. Like, I mean, it's a slasher. There's not like a, mm. there's, it's not yeah. much depth to it. I mean, it set up a great mythology, left it open for a sequel, did everything it was supposed to do in a slasher. Unfortunately, the MPAA fucked it up. It was a Paramount, which probably didn't help. Paramount picked it up. I'm sure it wasn't made by Paramount. It's definitely a, pi- a pick. This up. was like at the era of like the Canadian government paying Tax for shelter movies. movie. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think of Unknown Origin was too. Unknown Origin, Meatballs. Those are probably all tax. Class of 1984. Those are probably all tax movies. Canadian movies, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, I hope some Canadian guy just made it and was like, oh, we made this movie. Hey, you should put it out for us. And they were like, whoa, you Canadians are crazy. This is this is on another well, level, man. Paramount is there put, a- pushed out because they were like, we don't want to take any more heat for the Friday 13th movies. Oh, my God. We don't want Cisco and Ebert whining, giving out <laughs> fucking people's addresses because they did a fucking movie. <laughs> Which is super that illegal. That is super illegal. illegal. Done. I didn't Maybe know gone. that. Yeah, yeah, they gave out That's fucking insane. Betsy Palmer's address and her phone number to tell her how bad she did in Friday Thirteen to tell her she should be ashamed of herself. Yeah, oh dude. Oh my god. So yeah, they, that, they went. They went crazy on the slashers. So, so in, to be in honest, the 80s. if anybody's That's, like, don't see anything bad about those guys, go fuck off. They can fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Care. they can suck. The original dick. doctors. They were also yeah. very inconsistent and super yeah. biased. Yeah. Yeah, I, I went. Any, I don't, any, <laughs> Uh, Ebert hated my favorite movie. Then he got berated for for people for years. And then he like years later, he's like, "Fine, it's good." Blue <laughs> it's Blue all right. Yeah. Uh, did you ever see him try to talk to David Lynch? 
after liking no. one of his movies because he hated on David Lynch's movies. Yeah, I know he didn't like and him then, in general. And then he was on the red carpet, and he, he David Lynch had a new movie. I think it was Mulholland Drive, and yeah. I think he liked it. I think everybody did. And he was like David, 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 or something like that. He's like he's like he's like hey Roger, and just walked right by, didn't acknowledge him after that. He just <laughs> gave him a fucking stay, hey, Roger, or something like that. He was like oh there you are, something like that. Just That's fucking cool. blew him off. Fuck him. Cause it, yeah, it, fuck that guy. Sometimes when critics get too much fucking power, they just like ruin people on purpose. They're never fair anymore. Well, I mean, the prime example is giving out phone numbers and and like that's insane. It just takes that's it insane. to yeah, old lady, level. some old lady, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> when you were saying that, like I thought you were gonna like be like, oh, he's giving out like the producers' numbers or something. Oh, like, you know, just like the actual or the real address. Yeah. Her yeah. fucking home go, address. Yeah, go, go, mur- go murder this person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you know, though, crazy, even even and, after Adrian King got stalked by somebody. Yeah, and, and you know how crazy people were back then too, like the the religious and like they would be like, yeah, right. Yeah, like, people I'm were gonna real. Kill you people were real. Like we talk that. about how stupid they would get people so are now. Mad. Like people were real dumb back then. You can make people, people are just as stupid as they are now as they are then. then. Oh, you can just me make just people do anything. Yeah, but there's more. There's more. You know repercussions yeah. for being yeah. stupid now than More there technological was back then. yeah i feel like you could get yeah. away with like a serious crime way easier back then yeah maybe yeah. but nowadays you don't even have to brainwash people in person you can do it over the internet yeah true yeah kind of wild it's real wild so is, is there anything that you did like is there a negative to this movie anything that you don't like it's not like there's a negative, I don't think, but it's just like the the movie. It's just kind of like it's just kind of a basic, like basically like written movie. It's well done, but it's not like breaking any walls. It just it only has so high of a ceiling when it comes to like how yeah. good as these scenes can be. But it's like it's that not everything has to be a masterpiece. Like if it, you're just yeah. running through slashers, this is a great movie to watch. It's it's as best like it's as good tone. as it can be. It's as good as it can be. <laughs> That's why when people are like, I love Hush, I was like, yeah, but that's kind of a subgenre of movies that never gets past an eight. It never will. Yeah, and Hush. I gave, is, it, like I a, gave it eight point five. I don't think Hush is ever. I'll never watch Hush again. Yeah, I mean it's true. I'll fall, I'll fall to like fall this again. I'll fall asleep. It's just the same movie. It's like but, but I'm over you, here. But now I'm over you here. Think like, that's like, like, also, <laughs> like, I think that's also with just modern movies in general. Like, how many modern movies do you watch again? I, I don't. I mean, there are some like I, watch I can way watch. Less- I watch way less modern movies than I do older movies. Me too. I just, yeah, I don't have, they don't have much rewatch value because they just basically lift them from older movies anyway. So, true. The only thing, you, th- you also the, didn't grow up with them. In this movie, yeah, like, I didn't grow up with okay. a lot of the movies from 81 here that I watched and I enjoyed those and I would, but even, yeah, them. even like some of like the best movies that I've seen like the past couple of years of like any genre, like half the time be like, yeah, I'm going to watch uh, The Psychic again. Yeah, I love the psychic or or the killing. I just re- watched for the first time. Oh, I watched it every year. I love the killing. The Amazing. killing might that might it's it's not his best or anything, but that might be one of my favorite. That might be my favorite Kubrick movie. Period. Easy watch, easy watch, very it's so easy. That's yeah. why it's what, so easy. What, what I meant though, it, it not that you didn't grow up with the actual movie, but the like style. you grew up with that style of movie, so yeah. you gravitate more more towards that. Probably. I'm sure the but, kids born now. Will probably gravitate towards these, but it's not just that. Forward. To be brutally honest, uh, I can watch movies from anywhere before like 2000 with very relative ease, right? And that's I didn't grow up with 40. I guess I did grow up with some yeah, 30s and 40s movies, some, yeah. But there's some decades I never touched that I yeah. would watch. I, like I could probably watch a 50s musical pretty easy, and I never watched yeah. any of that shit. Well, for me, with <laughs> older stuff, it all just feels like historical and it feels educational. So, like, it makes mm-hmm. me like more agreed. Watch it. Yep. Uh, sorry, Carly, you got cut off. What were you gonna say? Um, I was just gonna say that the only part in this movie that seems like off to me always said was when they when he like t- TJ takes the, whatever that main girl's name is to the like beachfront and then they're like having this really <laughs> really <laughs> mellow dram- It feels like a soap opera. She's just like, yeah. why did you leave? And that's where I really noticed his Canadian accent. I really like, lost my ass out there. So we will be yeah. watching <laughs> the Chungus first nuke squad because the hell. Sorry about that, guys. He's just like, I really lost my ass out there. I don't remember her name. That's exactly yeah. how he sounds. It's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it, it's it, funny, too, because it's, really it's like, bad. he went out to the big, bad West Coast. <laughs> yeah. I went to California, and I had a He's like, I won- It was horrible. He and couldn't make it out West, game. so now he got to work in the mine his whole life. <laughs> 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 it's just like Canadians, how they think the United States is. <laughs> we went down to Texas, and all the meals were too big. It was so, so absorbent. 
Oh. oh man, that guy! I don't know. I think the lead guy has the the thickest accent, doesn't he? Oh he does, sure. yeah! I never yeah. noticed it until like this last time watching. It almost it. It makes sense that, like that. You can always tell almost, when they say "sorry." He yeah. almost sounds like a little effeminate too, like compared to the other guys. So like, it makes it kind of funny with the necro chief. Yeah, <laughs> like this is the guy that comes home and like all these like hard like rough and tumble miners guys who's in the opening scene is like caked with fucking charcoal or whatever all over their face like let's go get a brewski guys and this guy comes home he's like I'm in charge now oh the one right. dude Harold is super annoying too oh uh, like the like, knockoff Shelly yeah he's, well he's, Shelly he's before like, Shelly he's like hey guys uh they they uh I'm uh, the pre booger from Revenge of the Nerds. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's he's an actor that went on to do a bunch of stuff. He's very memorable, you know, recognizable. But like they actually do him crazy because you think he's gonna end up okay, but he pusses out and just leaves him. But I also get don't the, blame him get because the he's fuck like, let's out go. Of Come on, get up, get up. And they're like, oh no! He's like, get up or we're going to die. And they just don't move. Yeah. <laughs> I would have picked her ass up yeah. and carried her. Yeah. I would I would have fucking pushed her down and ran. Right. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> JPB like slide through little tunnels that nobody else can get through. But uh huh. Fuck it, I'd be I'd be fucking Justin Long at the end of Barbarian. I'd be that guy running away. Like I don't know you, <laughs> right? Like fuck it. You know I don't what? Know you. you know what they should have done is they actually should have had somebody sprint away from um the killer and just hit their fucking head on a light or something. That could easily happen. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. like that happens a lot in movies where people are trying to run. Uh, that happened in Dog Soldiers, didn't it? The guy tries to run and he runs into like a, tr a tree branch, kills himself. Yeah. Because that's exactly There's what you want to see in a, a werewolf movie is mind. a guy kill himself with a tree branch. <laughs> <All right>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, my afterwards. favorite part. <laughs> like, I'll just eat these guys for now. <laughs> <laughs> Me watching Dog Soldiers. Which guy is that? All these guys look the same. It's very dark. <laughs> He was like, yeah. here's the cinematography. Just <laughs> <laughs> grab it and shake it like a baked potato, baby. Phew. Oh, authentic. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy how much better Descent is than Dog Soldiers. I'm taking. I'm going to take a lot of shit for that, but... Just, I've never been a fan uh, of Dog Soldiers. The Descent is better. Much better. Um, yeah, that's like, one, that's one, that's one of better. my favorite movies from like the 2000s, <laughs> Descent. I'm not like super, super high on either. The yeah, descent. The descent. It's easier to tell the girls apart. No, it's the, not. Yes, yes that's it like is. The hardest the thing real dude, characters. No, I think the descent is. There's to tell the, girls the only apart. like like there like there's like one that's like Asian. There's oh, like God. another with like short dark hair. There's two blondes. That's what every. But They're the, the one sister. blonde. No, well, yeah, but like one of them is like tall and like thin and like. You can't see thin. anybody. Oh, They're in a the, dark cave. And one I of them's them like the main character. One of them's like the. Yeah. Get some glasses, nerd. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I I'm only complaining about Dog Soldiers' terrible cinematography and it's editing. I've always been Don't good like at that telling actors apart anyway. Yeah, I'm uh, horrible at it, dude. I watch these Italian movies and I'm like, fuck. I'm at well, the point where it's like I can like look at a screen at a glance and know if I'm watching a Korean, a Japanese, or a Chinese movie. Me too. But you can tell just from the style of film. Like well, a Japanese, yeah. you're like that's Japanese. No, Korean, I think like, I think it, the, the Asian there's differences in Asian people. I could, yeah, I could of tell. course there is. Yeah. But I'm just yeah. saying, for like at a glance, part, I can be like, oh, this is a Japanese movie. So can I? But that's yeah. not even just yeah. if if there's no actors on screen, I usually get tell just by the style of film yeah. or the style. Let's, let's I haven't listen, seen a listen. lot of Korean movies not me in the past like 25 years. In this movie, I'm just saying, those the the like the mayor, the bartender, and I think the, the sheriff cop. or whatever. They're all the same person, and Jeremy <laughs> said that, and you said he was stupid. I was like, I agree. They're all the same. They're all the guy. same person in different uh, like levels of hair loss. The sheriff is no hair they loss. Gray hair. The bartender yeah. is some hair they're, loss. And they're all stressed out. Like, like, all stressed yeah. out, like, like, middle aged white like, guys. Like, one, yeah, they're all flipping like, out. Yeah. Ah, the, sheriff's like, the sheriff's got the classic like '70s style haircut, where it's just like a lot of hair in the front, everything. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I enjoy it. You know, I don't know. This is going to be close to make my top 10. Would it make your guys' top 10 of 81? Uh, without looking at, like, the list of all the movies, I couldn't imagine it not. Yeah. Without looking in the list, it would probably be in that, like, tussle spot or maybe. 10 to 15 for sure. Yeah, like, probably in that range where, like, 15 to, like, 7 could all make the top 10. Like, so, I don't know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to say better or worse 
than these 81 slashers. No explanation. Just oh, shit. Better or worse. Cool. No. This is well, good. I think that this one is better. Be- I don't give a fuck. Better or worse. Because there's two. Okay. Better <laughs> I'll start. or worse. So, Carly, JP, Tyler. So, okay. So, okay. um, is my bloody Valentine. This is a ripoff of a great podcast show. Uh, what is that show that I always listen to? I don't remember. It's better or worse? No, I don't remember <laughs> the show. But I listen to it all the time. I'm done. I'm dumb. I can't remember anything anymore. I'm getting old. Uh, better or worse than The Burning? Uh, better. Ooh, are worse. you asking me? Or are you uh, asking Carly, all JP, then Tyler. Okay. Oh. Better. Better. Worse. Fuck you. Uh, worse. I think they're close. I think they're the close, too, though. They're probably they're the close. two best non-franchise slasher like, movies. Like, they're made. very, like, I couldn't, like, fault someone for answering either of those. They're both, they're preferential. All right. What did, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're breaking right. the rules. <laughs> no, right. the, you're like Jer- Jeremy Freeman right now. Uh, but the, the yeah, 13th part. Jeremy too. Uh, worse. Oops. Okay. <laughs> we all just do it at the same time. Uh, wh- wh- worse or the same. Worse, I guess. Worse. Less good. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the worse is a strong word. <laughs> yeah. I think worse too, actually. Uh, Halloween too. Better. Uh, better. Worse. Like, I much, can't even... much better. Uh, much, kind much fucking better. I like Halloween movie. Too. Uh, The Prowler. Better. Worse. All right, what? better, 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 better. <laughs> I, I, I messed up. I gotta say better. I yeah, can't better, better, better. I don't even consider this a slasher. Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker. I'm gonna skip it. I don't. It's not a slasher to me. I still say better. Uh, worse. Better. Better. Happy birthday to me. Better. 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 Really Is close. Butcher Baker not 82? No. It was when we did it. It made I our know. 82. I know. <laughs> it changed. Do you guys consider the Funhouse a slasher or no? Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Funhouse. Better. Better. <laughs> Much better. Close, but worse. I mean, no, what? better, better, better. Uh, here we go. Not hospital massacre, better, better, better. Never seen it. I don't consider Dark Knight of the Scarecrow a slasher. Uh, it, it's kind of okay. Maybe. Then, then worse. Oh. Man, that's tough, but I, I'll say better. Better, better. It's Bloody birthday, a slasher. Yeah, kind of. Better. better, better, worse, worse. I like Bloody Birthday. Me Hell too. Night. Hell Night. Better. 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 Graduation Day. Better. 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 Student Bodies. Better. Better. Never seen it. No answer. That's a spoof movie, right? Yeah, I love it. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's good. It's, one. it's a better movie. Um, Night School. Better. 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 I do like Night School, but close. close. <laughs> really? Dude, Rewatch Night crazy. School, man. Rewatch it. I did it like two years ago. It's good. Wow. Well, absurd. I don't think I ever seen uh, that. Better. I've never, I've never seen Absurd. It's uh, Anthropophagus too. Better. Yeah. Better. Um, no. Just before dawn. Never seen it. Better. Uh, you never um, seen Just Before Dawn? Nope. I'm surprised you haven't. Good move. Dude, I'm, I'm usually, I'm usually the version. hate. I'm usually the hater of that movie in the room. Everyone's like, I like that movie. I'm like, I don't. Um, I think version. I have a Blu-ray code red. Right? Don't that watch thing. that extended version. Okay. Maybe don't. that's what I watch. Yeah, well, and that's why I hate it. The extended I'm always, is when 15 someone, when, minutes of like, boring character shit. Just watch the original version first. When someone tells me don't watch the extended version, I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> Less time. <laughs> well, w- watch the original. And yeah, well, I would never choose to watch. Like, yeah. No, extended. I mean, like, you no, think no, the Sometimes extended, the extended version is the better version. Because you think it's going to yeah, be better gore and shit, but that's not yeah. it. It's just character development. And it's not as well done. It, it's just not as good as the rest of the movie. I rewatched okay. it for the first time in years. I'm going on. Sorry, I shouldn't talk about it. But I think about similar. Almost close. Close. That was always my complaint that it was really boring. So maybe I watched the extended version. Yeah. <laughs> Eyes of a Stranger. Better. 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 Is that that movie with Jennifer? Yeah, Jason Lee. I asked you that on the Mad Man show too. Um, uh, better. Yeah. I love her too. That's like one of my favorite actresses. We're getting some poopy movies now. Um, I love this one, but Nightmare. Never seen that. 
I don't think I saw that. Nightmares in a damaged brain. Is that uh, the Australian? No, that's Nightmares. That's from 80. That's not stage fright, AK stage fright. I this one, Nightmares, Nightmares in a Damaged think, Brain? Oh, I don't think I've seen it. Oh, uh, you guys should watch that one. It's half maniac, half Halloween. Ooh. Not as good as either. <laughs> hey, well, <laughs> I like I'm it. sold. Sounds great. <laughs> Sounds okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bloody Moon. I haven't seen, seen it. it. You're uh, starting to get into the ones. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, We're not that intelligent. Don't go in the woods. I haven't seen that. I think I've seen that. It's better. But better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Madhouse. No, now you're getting Madhouse. Madhouse. The it's Italian bad. one. Uh, it's better. It's worse, I think. Than Madhouse? I love Madhouse. It's more my style. I don't know if it's a better okay. movie. Uh, final exam. Better. 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 <laughs> the fan. Better. better. I like the fan, though. Yeah, I like the uh, fan. I think we're I like almost there. I like Final Exam, too. Uh, Madman. Better. 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 Home sweet home. I think we're gonna be done on home sweet home. Better. <laughs> I don't think I saw that. I never, never seen I that. don't yeah. And of course Scream. Worse. What? Worse than Scream? 1981 Scream? Oh I just <laughs> thought you were throwing Scream in there. Why is that, the, you... is that <laughs> the one with the sickle? I, I know, I've literally never seen I didn't know what it's like this one where these guys are like hiking on this thing, and it's all a bunch of middle aged was... random people. I didn't even know there was another and they like they're street. like, we need to stop, and they stop in this like deserted western town, and they just start getting killed, and it's like a weird old ghost, and you're just like, <laughs> and you're like, why am I watching this in I, 4K? I think I have a bootleg of that. Too. I don't even know there was is that the movie. is that the one with the sickle on the cover? Yeah. Okay, okay I, got, yeah, I, I just I got that by... 4K. I haven't watched it yet. It's not great, but uh, I don't hate it. I wasn't <laughs> aware of this movie's existence. I thought that fucking final exam was good. I like final. I like exam. final exam. I was like, not better than this. I was like, it's the worst movie ever. I was like, I like it. It's I not. Bad. Like it's, it takes Dude, too long for like people that say like 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 stuff oh. like that's like the worst movie ever. It's like, bro, you have not seen many bad movies. You think this is like awful, bro? Go pick up some recent SRS or some shit, man. Yeah, like this Flash is like, like this is an average like slasher at worst. Go watch the new movie with character Jeremy Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel so vindicated. Yeah. I mean, um, any, any more? Uh, I think we're good. Is there anything else you guys want to say about 1981 as a whole? As I mean, whole? 1981 is fantastic. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. just went through the slashers alone it's, right it's, there. It's probably a pretty deep year. Yeah. I mean, we, we I also mean, got Evil Dead, The Beyond, Possession, Howling, yeah, American insane. Werewolf in London. Uh, and then yeah, just... this might not even make my top 10 then. This might even oh, be further man. back than I thought. Also Miss got 45. Yeah. Weird Canadian movies like Miss The Pit oh, and stuff. Dark Knight scanners. of the Scarecrow. Dead and Buried. Dead and Buried. The Boogans. Bro, this is a lot like The Boogans. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Except, this movie would make my top 10. Wow. Yeah, The Boogans going to take that spot. <laughs> no, like, when you're throwing stuff like Dead and Buried, it's like, that might be Dead and Buried's in my top like, three. Dude, I like Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior. It's well, not a what? <laughs> I don't it's know. It's exploitation. Like it's, it's not a whole It's not a Shut up. You got I mean, Cannibal. It's... Cannibal Ferox. That's one of my biggest blind spots. I haven't seen that. Really? You're not going to really like it that much. I, I think he will. I think he'll find it kind of like a, a like stupid version of Cannibal Holocaust and find entertainment. The thing is, it's it. like I'm almost like very like driven by releases, and that just got an expensive release that's like never on sale. Grindhouse. Yeah, I, I picked it up for like 20 before. Grindhouse will put yeah. that on 4K eventually, yeah. along with Holocaust. That's, and the that's why well, I know they already announced Cannibal Holocaust. Like, I'll pick up that. I'll pick that up right away. Oh, no, like, you gotta have I'll it. Want, yeah. They would be I'll like, watch. "That's 300 hours." I'd be like, "Oh, that would be. Oh man, I'd do it." You're crazy. I don't care. No, nothing. St- <laughs> I'd rather just buy that movie than buy a bunch of crappy movies. I don't have shelf room anymore. I'm trying to get rid of like dupe doubles and stuff. Anyways, it's just like yeah. I'm sorry. I'm like man. I'm like running out of shelf room quicker than yeah, give I them to I me. Gonna... I'm selling. Take... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, just give them to me. I'm so bad at like For getting free. rid of stuff too. It's like now. even stuff like I've like not even like seen. I have watched like once and like probably like might not ever watch again. I'm just like, oh, I will keep it. <laughs> me too. I'm like <laughs> I gotta have it for the library. What if I want to document watching Murder Obsession from 1981 again? 
You know, you watched it three times. You don't remember anything about it. I'm like, <laughs> I literally watched that movie twice. And you're like, what happens? And I'm like, well, you know, the stuff happens. Yeah. And the There's guy so many has... movies like you guys pull off my shelf that I watched once in like 2000. Well, that, that's like Carly. Like, oh, what was that happens in this movie? <laughs> What are you about Car- to say? Carly doesn't have the uncut version of My Bloody Valentine. I was like, oh, I have three. Yeah, yeah. I have a Blu-ray right now. I'm He's like, maybe I can give you a copy of it. Maybe. <laughs> I have three maybe. copies. I have a sealed version of the Paramount disc. I'm like, I got to get rid of this. Because I got, <laughs> I have the Screen Factory Blu-ray, and now I have the Screen Factory 4K. And Me now too. I have the old, and, yeah. and I have the uh-huh. original I, Blu-ray that Lionsgate did. Didn't this did. just come Me out too. like on Blu-ray from Screen Factory? Like 4K. Like I know, but didn't get the yeah, Blu-ray yeah, come out like a year and a half ago? Two, two, yeah. three years ago, I think. Uh, I thought it was even more recent. It's at least two years ago it... for sure because I picked it up. Because I bought, and I yeah, haven't I bought, bought Screen Blu-ray. Factory in forever. Yeah, I bought yeah. way less and less. I bet less and less from them now. It's just like they upgrade everything. And I just like, can't damn afford to, like, dude. The I fact I bought, I bought the 4K like three days ago and got it just in time. And it didn't even fucking come with a slip cover. And I'm like, bro, like $30 and you can't even fucking keep slip covers on them, bitches. Yeah, but yeah. that's why I get them on sale usually. I get them like 22 Yeah, I get them on sale, but it's like there's just so many so many labels I like now that... It's, it's hard. It's, this yeah. Terravision's killing me. They're like, we're, we're renouncing 37 titles at a time. Dude, I know, bro. Like, I'm, bro I'm, I was like, thinking I might have to stop getting the Terravision soon because... They're just coming out too fast, but they they are releasing cool stuff. Yeah, I like they the don't. Label. It's not like they go out of print in two weeks. You can always buy them later. Yeah, yeah. I just like, did the the tent like the uh pack like the. What can is you it skip called? the tens? The ten? Can you skip it? No, like, you can't skip titles in it. Yeah, because like I'd be pissed if I'm doing ten titles and they're like, "Here's your gun for Jennifer," or whatever. I love a gun for Jennifer. What's the? That's one of my favorites. But what's the one they put get out? my gun? Get my gun's a piece of shit. No, I like that movie. The I give it an eight. Fest. I give it a fucking like five. Well, I don't want that. I'll never watch it again. <laughs> yeah, I it's mean, like they, one of those they, ones where I like move on the couch thirty-seven times. Like I'll be like sitting, then I'll be like this, then I'll be like trying to, <laughs> just trying to find a better way to finish the movie. I'm like, dude, it's like that's <laughs> one thing I notice sometimes. Like with the quality differences of movies I watch, sometimes it's like incredible, like how quick. <laughs> Like a three-hour movie can go by, and how slow an eighty-minute yeah. movie can like, go I'm by. Yeah, like pos- I'm watching two-hour possession, like God, it's so fucked up, like crying and getting yeah. all emotional, and be like, "Look at this part. What is this?" And like, for like the third time, that I'll put in, like, say this movie's seventy minutes. It can't be that bad. Bloody pit of horror. It's, it's like fucking night <laughs> of I... horror, night of horror, and it's just like them filming on film for some fucking reason, like. From a mile away, these two guys sitting at a bar in the basement, and one stationary <laughs> shot, and be like, "Yeah, so here's what happened." And then they talk. Is for that five the, minutes, ki- the Confederate and then have, movie? And they have a flashback. I'm like, I just heard his exposition bump, and then we're gonna have a flashback. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. We're padding the runtime. Future link. <laughs> that Night of Horror is the worst movie from 1981. Is, is that yeah. the? Is that the fucking? Yes. Confed- Dude, somebody, somebody gave that me that card. shit years ago on fucking Patreon, and I remember. And first of all, it was like a garbage, like VHS transfer there's, that I watched. No, it on. They just put it on Blu-ray, and I was oh like, dude, God. I'm wa- dude, dude I swear to God, I was watching. I'm like, I'm watching the wrong movie. There's another movie <laughs> called that. There's no way that somebody wanted me to watch this. Like, this isn't even a movie, bro. What is going on? Do you remember the beginning when they're like, "So here's what happened," and they start talking. I'm like. <laughs> Dude, it is horrible. I can't believe that shit got put on Blu-ray. No, it, it got put on Blu-ray with Curse of the Cannibal Confederates, which is the same filmmakers for Vinegar Syndrome, and they basically remade their own movie, Night of Four, but it's both of them on the same disc in HD. Is it better? I don't know. I haven't seen that. I'm waiting until 1982. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> yeah, probably... Can't, can't wait. I think probably there's zombies about... in this one, though, and they eat people, so that's got to be better. Ooh. I got that Blu-ray and I was like, oh, these look cool. I didn't realize I had already fucking seen that one. And I'm like, dude, what? I can't believe this is real. They had good announcements this time, though. Fatal Games is a fucking blast. Black Room is interesting as hell. Um, That 10 movie set's going to be cool. Gun for Jennifer is an awesome movie. Untold Story 2 is pretty good. Those are all good movies. I'm going to pick those up. Untold Story 2 is cheaper for sure. I did grab uh, Untold Story and Gun for Jennifer and uh, Redneck Zombies redneck zombies which i love it's one of my favorites it's a gut munching that whole like original trailer is the best yeah 
Rednecks had, always good shit. Yeah, I had the grub existence. Existence. No yeah, couldn't pass that. I got that mark. Your pretentious that. ass doesn't know how to say that movie's title. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you like, really are, like, Jeremy. Poser. I've only seen it once, like probably like ten. Well, years that's ago. probably when I first saw that movie. I probably said that thing a million times, but then probably somebody was like, "Hey, bro, it's existence." I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was the guy who's like 12. I'm like, bird with the crystal plumage. It's like, sir, <laughs> sir. I'm like, oh. I didn't know what a plumage was. Whatever. It's plumage. <laughs> it's fucking plumage. It's like, bird. I know. like yeah, I didn't know, bro. People are afraid to tell you. And then someone finally steps in. And they're like, honey, that's, that's wrong. They're like, bless your soul, <laughs> child. I'm like, yeah. I got movies. I like movies. I buy movies. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically me. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my oh, movies. What's in, the pa- what's in the package? Movies. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever gotten a title? Like you bought a package and then you go to read the title and you're just like have a brain fart. You don't know how to say it. So you're like, yeah, there's this one. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me like every time, bro. <laughs> I was like, the, the, and then I go back and I'm watching the video. I'm like, that's not the fucking word, you moron. That's not what it says on that package. What are you doing? <laughs> but every like, time I'll I do my favorite is the Kino sales. I'll just get like a big box of movies in, and I'm just like, I'll like open them like it's Christmas, and like I'll like, and, like you don't even know I'll make my girlfriend sit there and like watch me open them. Like, look at this. <laughs> Dude, I, I do that too. I'm like, look at this, and I'll read the back. Like I read the back. Yeah, English. I'm like, a house by the the Mars, <laughs> and the killer is too. But that, but that'll be like, good, oh, huh? See, like, I've. I'll be like, oh, I've actually seen this one, though. And be like, you haven't seen any of these other movies? And like, no. J- JP doesn't want me touching his movies when he gets them. He's like, be careful. Yeah, you can look, but don't touch. Yeah. It's like when you get a Can't new touch toy the Vincents. And you invite, you, invite a new, you invite a friend over to play, and you're like, hey, this guy's cool, isn't he? It's Slash from Ninja Turtles. You like him? Yeah. You can't have him. He's mine. <laughs> you can play with Rocksteady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those are my four kids. You can't touch those. <laughs> That's you my private collection over there. <laughs> you can look at that true romance DVD. Four <laughs> K over here. <laughs> the DVDs are in the corner <clears throat> down there. <laughs> I, those are yours to play with. I'm watching. T- I got 1080. I got full, what, HDR over here. <laughs> Enjoy your mono. <laughs> oh you have a 4k player on your xbox that's cool <laughs> that's cute i hope you- that's what i use <laughs> don't even get proper dolby atmos <laughs> i bet your mods didn't love you <laughs> how'd you know <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh what are we doing here i don't know i think we're done do you we guys have anything to advertise? <laughs> oh no. i might i don't know if the person who was going to do the hauling wants to do it anymore i they haven't got back to me so maybe you guys somebody wants to come on for the hauling no i'm good howling. thanks no i'm good nobody likes the <laughs> howling. not you really like the howling it's not really not uh, no honestly i'll try to get moods on tyler you no like it, right? i i i like the howling i like the howling it's just not i i don't like look forward to watching it. i'm not passionate so, about like, talking about so it. i've gotten to a weird spot with like the two werewolf solution this year where it's like, it's like i know 12, actually well, the, <laughs> well, the, two like ones. the two big ones <laughs> yeah there's actually a, a third probably the number three one i've never seen even though it's sitting behind me wolfen um, wolfen yes it, it's that's uh, borderline werewolf but yeah like I like I I I know that American Werewolf in London is like the better movie. Like I just I know I think that's like I know that like for sure. But I think over the years, like I drifted to more like I think I like this Howling movie a little bit more though. I don't think I'll ever like the Howling more than American Werewolf. I think American Werewolf yeah. is so entertaining. It's so well put it's together. It grew on me. American yeah. Werewolf is just kind of flawless for what it is script wise and everything. Well, it's the just Howling like, is still a little I can't. Sloppy. I can't knock it, but it's just like not a movie I particularly like, but I can't like, <laughs> pretend it's not a great movie. It's like something like that. Yeah, that's how I, I kind of am on some of the movies. Like, you know, like uh, Halloween 2, it's like, eh, maybe I don't even think Halloween 2 is that great, but I'm just like, everyone loves it. I'm like, I don't cut Donald Pleasance out of this movie and you got yourself nothing. Uh, I, mean, I don't know what I like about like Halloween 2. <laughs> I don't know. Well, like, I also like. I don't trust my opinion on stuff. Like, from like, lo- or like. Yeah, I don't trust right. your opinion on things either. Well, exactly. Nope. 
<laughs> I don't trust my opinion so that it's like more than like four years old. If if they were like to tell me right now, they're like rewatch one of the werewolf movies from 1981. I'd be like, I'm gonna watch Night of the Werewolf with Paul Nashy. <laughs> I'm serious. That was or, or that. like Wolf's Hour or whatever. That one was super weird too. Like watch that. That's totally up your alley, Tyler. It's just like Wolf's basic. Hour? Yeah, it's super. Weird. What was that? What was that one that you like that we all talk shit on? And then uh, Vinegar Syndrome put it out because of me. When the I like that y'all yeah. on? Yeah, yeah, he said it was. Yeah, Joe Rubin was like, hey, we, we looked into this movie because you told me it was great and I liked it a lot. We looked into it. And then we actually found out that the guy, the company owned two other great Spanish horror movies. So we did this box set. And and did you do any special features on there? No. Fuckers. Aww. Why would I? Why would I do it? I don't know shit about the movie except I like <laughs> you, <can, laughs> you know, you hard be like, was... so I saw this movie once. No, that's fucking stupid. But that's that's what film fandom is. Kidding. Like you just, just talk kidding, to your friends. Man. You're like, I love this movie. You should check it out. And they say, I like it too. And then they pass it on to somebody else. That, and then yeah, they like... put it out because you have friends that put out movies. <laughs> No, but I just mean that's that's the way to share movies. You share movies that you like that no one's seen with other people, so they can fucking you know, hopefully somebody sees it. Did you tell him to watch Jonathan because I really yeah, he like knows that. what Jonathan I, is. Yeah, I told him Jonathan been, and that one's good, but yeah, it, it's probably t- tied up, hard to find. I've been that's working a, on a list. A, for a I give months. them mad credit for being able to like release these weird, you know, foreign territory films where the people that all are involved are probably dead. You know what I mean? It's well, very I mean, hard to figure out. Sometimes it's better when the fucking director's dead because his family just will sell That is them. true. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, because the they're, like, they're like, wait, what? My we, movie is <laughs> particular. It was never supposed to make release on blue. And then like, they die. They're like, how much? You... Yeah, we don't want it. Just release yeah, it. We don't care. <laughs> we'll pay for his fucking funeral. <laughs> you, want, but, you want that movie my dad made 50 years ago when he was 28? Nobody likes that movie. It's a terrible movie. Son of a beach. It's son of a beach. <laughs> what was, what was I don't know. I don't remember. I, I remember it's son of a bitch because yeah. uh, the whole thing uh, in Italian. Uh, opera, I make my own opera. I'm opera. <laughs> Did I tell you this story? Me and Jeremy had this idea, and I still want to do it. Because you know how, like, we had Fulci always hated Dario, right? Mm-hmm. When they're, they're yeah. rivalry. So when we had Suspiria, and then, like, Fulci made Enigma. And it's kind of like a rip off of Suspiria with like the the like phenomenon phenomenon with the like all the bugs and then like the snails mm-hmm. kill somebody in a, a, a enigma and you're like what is this what is you doing Paul <laughs> this is ripping off the fucking mountain out here snails and then we were just the like, slowest Fal- death ever yeah Fulci is just like we had this like clip it was like Fulci sitting in a garage smoking his pipe and it's all cloudy and he's got like this fucking classic like 16 millimeter print film rolling and it's the very end of <laughs> opera with like the the crows attacking the person. And it's just like it says Finn, and it pops up at the end, and he's like, it's just Fulci watching it, and he's like, Apra, Apra, I make my own Apra, and he's like, and he's like, son of a bitch, Dario Gento, but he says in Italian, he's like, Apra, I make my own Apra, and then it cuts to him like in a backyard, clearly trying to make his own Apra. There's like a, there's like a, he's just getting chased by like crows, and he's. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they're just attacking him and he's in his flannel shirt there's like a scarecrow in the back and, like, and then it's just at the end it's just like a curb your enthusiasm gag like <laughs> and it's like ah, yeah ah, bro, I <clears> that's pretty ah. funny you can see like that it. really happening so that's just yeah. so niche yeah. humor, though no one would get that yeah like, i know right yeah, like six so people would find that. it's like that's like that joke. Like, who the hell is argento <laughs> like that or oh, who's fulci like Lucio yeah. Fulci, circa 1987, in his garage, in his flannel. home, whatever. I like cat and cat. I got to Google cat this guy. He's got like <laughs> holes in his shirt and shit, and he's like, fucking smoking his pipe. Yeah, got- you got to give him like the Elmer Fudd hat, like fucking <laughs> and cat and brain, bro. Just yeah, like exactly. sitting in his garage in like all those off old ass it. lawn chairs. But he's got a. You hear the 16 millimeter film roll when it's all yeah. smoky <laughs> in the room, and you can barely see anything. And he's like watching. He's like. Spinning. So good. And then he's oh, just like cuts to him like hard cut and he's like throws uh, uh. <laughs> after him. him. Figlio di Putana. That was a Figlio <laughs> <Son of> a... <laughs> Oh Lord. So uh these guys are on twenty two shots. Carly's on Slumber Party Massacre podcast. Great show. JP is one of the main hosts at 22 Shots. Tyler's on there quite a bit. Are you still doing your other podcast, Tyler? 
No, that like fell through the fell through the ground a couple of years ago. Is that because? But t- <laughs> Tyler's pretty much basically replacing Dave right now while yeah. Dave's yeah. off for a while. And uh, I mean, I'm sure Dave will be back on at some point to do Maybe. something I with might us. Die. Who knows? No, Stop. you're good, bro. The problem is when you start a movie in. podcast with people. Listen, bro, like you if you die sure. before me, there's something wrong with that. I got the doo-doo brain. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got that doo-doo brain. Quit it. Got that doo-doo liver. What were you saying? <laughs> I was going to say, like, the problem with starting podcasts with people is you find out people don't like movies as much as you. <laughs> no, like, why'd you start with them, then? Yeah, you, you like, start with, like... No, like, when I started, like, trying, like, starting just, like, my friends and stuff, like, you guys want to do a movie podcast? And they're like, I watched it on my phone. It was all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand a casino why, like, Sharon Stone likes James Woods. Like, he's an asshole. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm giving this like, movie one star. Like, they're like, I don't like it. I watched it at work on my phone when I had time. Like, <laughs> well, that, that's like the whole reason I started podcasting slash like YouTube is because I watch movies and I want to talk to people that are yeah. like minded about them. And none of my friends watched movies like me. So, yeah, I try to like always like tell my friends, like, here's a list of 20 movies to watch. You can borrow one at the time. And then no, after bro. three, they're, after three, they're they just don't like, care. I've done that too. They're just you like, have, you oh. haven't evolved at all. Like, you can't force that shit on your friends. Like, they, I used to force that shit when I was like 10 on my friends and they like fucking hated me for years. But now Whatever. they, now they all have good taste in movies though. Horror Whenever movies, people least. come over to watch, <laughs> like, oh, let's watch a movie. I put on like a bowl of syndrome. They can put a shit like that now. You guys want to see something crazy? All my friends love like Romero because of me. They're all like, "Oh, Dawn of the Dead, Dan, those are awesome." Like, yeah. so they like had good respect, like, and that's a good foundation. Dude, like, I'm just like, like whether Romero. you like horror movies or not, but it's like if like I'm like seriously questioning someone's taste if they like they don't like think the dead movies are good, or any of them. Like, if they don't like one, like, of them. Yeah. you know what I mean? Especially like, any like, of I'm, like, like maybe I'll give you a pass. Like, if you can't deal with old movies, like with the, with Night. But like, dude, if you're like yeah. watching Dawn of the Day and Day of the Dead, you're like, these are bad. Like, you're, I don't know what to tell you, then, dude. Yeah, like I just, me and you aren't on the same planet. Maybe we shouldn't talk movies anymore. So you like, yeah, the weather's pretty crazy out there, right? I like, I like the yeah. equalizer fall. <laughs> it's cold, <laughs> and then sometimes it's warm. It's weird. I don't know what's going on. Can I have a hot pocket? <laughs> 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 that's, my that's how it be <laughs> yep. <Buy> my movies <laughs> want to see my movies <laughs> <clears throat> we just made that joke on the other podcast with uh, Duncan it was just like talking about it it's just like they're like I don't watch subtitle movies or black and white movies I'm like so you like that Die Hard that's pretty good huh Die Hard <laughs> <laughs> basically you gotta go to revert to just like the stuff that's fun for everybody right Hey, I got it on 4K for a reason. I like it. I mean, it's fine. It's great. You guys like Heat? <laughs> you ever, I just saw Heat. <laughs> it's rad. I got that shit on 4K, too. I heard the 4K is poo-poo. I heard it's got doo-doo brain. Yeah. Why do you think they sell it for, like, $3.99? <laughs> 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 they just give it away. It's like, all right, even like, wait, wait, wait. Even the they Blu-ray bought your bag of dog heat. food. Here's a 4K heat. Yeah, massage is <laughs> giving them with everything. <laughs> even, like, the Blu-ray of 4K was always, of, I mean, the Blu-ray of heat was always suspiciously cheap. It was always, like, $5.99. <laughs> Michael Mann went in there. He's like, I want everything pink. Why? I want it pink, damn it. It just ruins everything. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, dumb Taylor Tangerine dream over everything. <laughs> That's what I like his 80s movies. Like, every 80s movie just ends, it's like, everything slows down and Tangerine Dream just pops. <laughs> and then, like, someone gets shot and that's how they all end. <laughs> you're just watching the keep. You're like, this is gonna get good. I know it's Yeah, good. like, all it's it just slows down. Keep... It's like, brr, the Tangerine Dream. <laughs> the keep is so it. bad. It's, so, it's, it's such a bad movie. It is boring. It's boring. Shooting lasers it's boring. And it sucks. It's so bad. I was like, watching that on a plane and there was some guy next to me. What the fuck is this guy watching? <laughs> JP the brought that to a gather- gathering. So, dude, dude on, on paper, the keep should be like a 10 out of 10, but you watch it and you're like, it's gonna get good. <laughs> I know it's gonna go. You keep watching, I'm but, gonna be yeah. right. It's just never done. Like the first five minutes, that golem thing comes out. He's like, and you're like, oh my God, he's awesome. And then, like, 10 minutes later, you're like, and it's like, what's his name? Comes out of nowhere, like off of like the river. Like, hey, we got 47 good actors. We can't do nothing with any of them. <laughs> like, we got Scott Glenn. We got Jorgen Perchow. We got Robert yeah. Prosky. We got 45 other guys you know. What are they going to do? 
I don't know. <laughs> Probably not a great like, idea. I made you this movie. It's three hours. It's three hours long, <laughs> but crap. But maybe we need to put more into it. It's kind of confusing. They're like, ah, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Can you imagine if you paid for that? <laughs> you got it. And you're just like, what the fuck is this? Why did you make like, Nazis what? the heroes? What is wrong with you? After Indiana Jones, get the fuck out of here. That seems like a big project for what he did up until then. <sighs> I'm sorry, JP's falling asleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like, I'm thinking he's about so, watching. He's like watching a movie. He's, mm-hmm. like, he's watching the key. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would, I would love a Blu-ray of the key. Every time I say that, I oh, like, shut the fuck yeah. up! No. I buy it. I just want a commentary oh. by Michael Mann. Dude, if, if you put Michael Mann's name on it, I'm probably gonna buy it. Let's, like, let's be real. Dude, it's so funny that he hates that movie because it, it's like one of the only legit movies that the director hates. You're just like, I get it, man. This movie sucks. <laughs> like, it's, I don't even well, just imagine it. like making a movie like, yeah, it's like 200 minutes long, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a big sci-fi epic. And they're like, why don't we get rid of like <laughs> like a hundred of these minutes? And he Dude. turns in this movie. He's like, I know it's a little long. But I know there's a masterpiece in there. I just need to cut five minutes. So, like, you mean 55 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> they just well, cut can, out. Well, can I save those old dailies? Those old extras? Like, no. <laughs> We're never going to need them. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> We're literally laughing at this guy's misery now. <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing at Who knows? We'll never know what really happened with that fucking movie because no, it never gets any releases. Yeah, it's got like what, like an Australian blue, like DVD or something. But there is an HD print around. You can, there's actually somebody scanned a 16 or 35 millimeter and put it online. I do have a Ooh. copy of that. Yeah. And I do have a, I streamed it a few months ago. Mm-hmm. I streamed it like a year ago. You can watch an HD version of it. So good quality is. We should probably call this quits. Yep. We're done. I'm <laughs> out of here, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll be waiting in hell for you! (gasps) Harry! Harry, I'm coming! This whole fucking town is going to die! We're coming back, you bastards! (laughs) Sarah, be my bloody valentine. (laughs) Daddy, gone away. Harry Warden. <laughs> Once upon a time, on a sad valentine, in a place known as Hannigar Mine, a legend began every woman and man would always remember the time, and those who remained were never the same. You could see. The fear in their eyes Once every year As the 14th draws near There's a hush all over the town For the legend they say On a Valentine's Day Is a curse that'll live on and on And no one will know As the years come and go Of the horror from long time ago (laughs) 